Good morning, all the teachers. On behalf of Swami Ramanandit Mathwada University Nanded, I welcome all of you to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to generate e certificate, whoever takes the quiz, and how to set time limit for any Google form or Google quiz. And the third one, whatever responses we have received, how can we analyze them? Okay. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, so in front of you, we, we I have a Google form, which is says that online exam on IC, ICT tools. So here, whoever takes this exam after successful completion, they should receive certificate automatically. So this is possible in Google form, but with the help of add-on called Certify M. So this Certify M is a add-on which is useful to generate certificates automatically. So how can we install this certificate for that? You go to these three vertical dots, then you will see here, there is a symbol called add-ons. So you click on add-ons. If we click on add-ons, this window will come where you can see that G Suite Marketplace. So in this G Suite Marketplace, you search Certify M, then this will come. Here it shows it is installed because I have already installed, but click on that. If we click on this, then here you can see that uninstall option is there. So for you, whoever installing first time, here there will be an option called install. You click on that. Once you install, then you close this one. Okay. So now we close this. We go back to our form. We will refresh it so that these extensions will be applied properly okay now because we have installed that certify m go to here this this icon is whatever add-ons are available to my my forms because i have installed few so now we go to certify m so if we click on certify m it, this pop-up will come this shows that show certify m controls so click on show certify m controls so if we click on show certify m controls this window will come so in this window you can see that at present certification is on because i have already made it on but usually when you open first time this this is the message you can see that certification is off do you want to turn on so click on turn on so that means we will be going to generate automatic certificates whoever attend take this quiz okay now there is an option called passing so here you can see that from 0% to 100% so if we do if we want to give certificate to everyone no matter how many marks they get or something then you click select 0% and if we want to give it suppose i say i will give 55 marks percent or I'll select suppose 50. For example, I'll select 50. So whoever get 50% marks, then they will they will be getting the certificate. Okay. Now there are some predefined certificates are available. You can select anyone and it will be generated automatically. You can see that what are all preview certificates are available. So this is one certificate different with different themes are there suppose if we want to select this one this still till banner so go there so you go to this till banner okay now and there are some advanced under advanced there are some options where we can give set some messages how they will receive for example here a message shown upon submission thank you for your submission if you score if you score more than 50%, then you will receive a printable certificate shortly. And who is sending? What is the subject of the mail? You say that participation certificate. Congratulations, you have passed the exam and successfully completed the course. Please find your certificate as attachment. Send as a PDF. So we can send as a PDF as well as our image. Okay. So in any of these two forms, we can. Send. So now click on Save Changes. Now we are ready. We have did whatever settings related to this certify m 
if anyone takes the test now then they will be receive this certificate let's try this so while email address is compulsory otherwise how can they send then name suppose then hal ticket number next okay uh this is information and communication technology this ramesh b then suppose google forms here okay submit now it says that thank you for your submission if you score more than 50% then you will receive a printable certificate shortly that that is what we have saved just before now you can see that so i have received 7 out of 8 that means i am i passed so i i will be receiving certificate uh, here you can see that i received a certificate saying congratulations you have passed and this is my certificate okay So if I click on that certificate, then it says that my name and hall ticket number and that online exam on ICT tools with date and time. Okay, this is the already predefined template where we can generate it. There is also option called uh, customizable theme. Means we can customize our certificate however how we like. In that way we can generate. So let's see how we can generate. customizable certificate custom certificate for this again we have to go to template in this template this below you have a option called use a custom template so click on custom template then a pop up window will come here we have to upload a already defined one select a new file by default at present it is this we will going to replace with our own customized certificate okay so this can be done using we have to uh, save it on our google doc document uh, google slides so when you click on this it will take to the whatever presentation files are available prepared presentation files are available that is available to see and while selecting it is a ppt so only one slide should be there in that one if there are two slides then it says error certificate cannot be generated so i have already defined one certificate that i will select here i will show you later how we can do this so select this and click on now you can see here this is certificate name as certificate click on save changes so if we click on save changes now my template is here it shows that certificate so whatever certificate i have generated now whoever take the test on that background this details will come and what are the details available how i have prepared i can show here go to slides google slides so whatever we want to prepare go to google slides just like google forms google documents google sheets we have google slides for presentations so go to google slides in that you open any image which you have already saved it and on this image we we can type something by going to this text box so whatever image you have for example png or jpg file you copy here so just now i copied here which is already typed something okay so you make your certificate and save it in jpg file or png file make it like a image file then you copy that image file here so after copying this image file you can enter the details required details so for that you take this text box and you put it set uh, text box anywhere on this image without disturbing the uh, whatever type material is there and how to enter name so that it will be generated automatically for this uh, we have a predefined they are called merge fields so this certify em defined predefined merged fields so we have to put any one of for it some 10 or 12 entries they have defined among those only we have to select so the format for this is i'll show you that format later but you take two parentheses two flower brackets so in between this we have to write that merged 
template name as it is okay name of that merged type how they are, what are they is you can see here so if we click on for instructions on how to use custom templates this is the merge tag so these are the only merge tags at present supporting full name title other identifier other identifier to date person passing person certificate id and so on so any these things will work if we put any other thing they don't work right okay. so here for example i'll put uh, one thing is for example person so if i write here person in between those two flower brackets two flower brackets okay then while generating this certificate how much that student got the percent for example 90 percent so here it will show us 90 percent here it will show date here it will show the title of that google form here namely online exam and ict tools and here we have kept one more field which is certificate I was just explaining this is not the way to um, generate certificate of course we have to write it or put it in proper way so here certificate number will be generated automatically title and name date and person so these five entries will be uh, generated based on that person with his, his details okay and it is a nice way once you save this once you save this now uh, it is there in your drive so go here use a custom template then i i am repeating actually second time select this here we have cell so now it is saved and save changes so whatever certificate we get it will be background will be this these five entries will be different for each person okay so i hope you understood how to generate a certificate after someone taking the google form quiz uh, better way is there are few already defined templates if you want to make your task very easy simple one then you can select any one of these things or you can use a customized template if you have already designed your certificate okay the, in this way we can generate uh, online certificates automatically but there is a uh, the certify em is an add-on there are some limitations if a regular gmail user is there then only 100 entries per day he can send 100 mails he can send that means 100 certificates maximum he can generate from a regular gmail user so if somebody is taking exam if it is more than 100 students then there will be a problem but usually in our class maximum 50 students uh, to 60 students will be there so there won't be any problem if we use this certify em for our regular class purposes okay but for g g suit users per day there is a 1500 one day one can generate 1500 certificates 1500 uh, things using uh, g, g suit users so if somebody is having g suit uh, account then he can take a test in one day for 1500 students and successfully generate right now we go to second one which is uh, interesting add-on for setting time limit for google quiz a google form okay so only during that time this form will be acceptable accepted after that it won't be accepted for this there is an add-on called email notification for google forms so email notification for google forms if we can install this add-on then we can easily set uh, time for this google form if it is a quiz then we can give time limit for this okay so i already explained how can we install any add-on same way you go and search email notification for google forms and install it and then it will be visible here in your forms also click on this email notification for google forms and this pop-up will window will come here you select this limit google forms okay so if you select this limit google forms a window will come where we can open the form on start day okay so suppose i i want second may i want to open for example time is 5 pm okay and i want to close that because it is an exam i want to close on that same day 
suppose 6 p.m. Set. That means I was I'm setting this time for this quiz one hour. So at five o'clock it starts accepting the responses, and by 6 p.m. it closes the responses. That means in this in this way we can set time limit for uh, any Google form quiz. So click on save, then it will be saved. Present, I don't want to do it. So this is very simple way to set the timer using this add-on called email notification for Google Forms. Then the third one, another interesting add-on is after receiving responses, how can we analyze those things with the help of add-ons? So for this, here we have very few responses. So I have, I'm going to another Google Form, which I have already more than 50 responses. So for this, responses we will see how can we get uh, analyzed report using a uh, add-on okay so if you see here there is an another add-on called advanced summary by avsum table which i have already installed so you go to add-ons then install this advanced summary by avsum table and click on this okay so it, it shows that open our edit summary so click on open our edit summary so if we click on open our edit summary, then this is loading advanced summary. Now we are ready. You, you have timestamp, name, code, anything. So select any filter using that one, it, it filters, okay. Now click on open summary. If we click on open summary, it is generated. Here it is nothing but uh, what any words are there using words it how many times it is repeated okay. then 54 you can see here this is the question for this question there are 54 responses 52 people have answered one and the other similarly here you can check there is a question and responses three different responses are there here which command gives inverse of a matrix for example so for each and every question, you can see already graph is, graphical representation is already created with just one click, namely advanced summary add-on. Okay, so this is very, very useful. And I hope these three add-ons play, one can use, everyone can use at least these three add-ons, namely advanced summary by Evsum table, certify EM and email notifications for Google Forms. Uh, thank you.